so this is work in progress but uh, there's enough here to uh, sort of understand the concept of the game uh, currently I'm working on uh, the balance of it and uh, the balance of the game and the way it looks um, okay let's start it so you're this little comet and uh, time is running out and uh, the way you win time back is by building constellations and I got this little a uh, white arrow there that is pointing me to the uh, closest cluster and clusters are where you draw constellations so the basis of drawing constellations is uh, you swing around uh, the stars inside the, the cluster and it's kind of like Snake or Tron where you can't let uh, your own lines that you've drawn, uh, you can't collide with those lines. Okay, so let's give it another try here. I'm actually going to try and make a loop. And it's all controlled just with one button press. Yeah, it's all one button. So, you got a nice constellation here. Um, so you press, the, the mechanism of it is simply you press the button to gravitate around the closest star. See how the stars go red? Mm -hmm. uh, so when it goes red, it means you can gravitate around it. And uh, so it's only like by, press, by the press of a button, you, have, uh, you actually have a lot of control over uh, traveling in space. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Obviously, every level uh, is generated randomly every time you play, so uh, the space is always different every time you start the game, uh, and uh, it's virtually infinite, I mean, as long as you can uh, like be in the game and not run out of time, uh, you can go as far as... Uh, it's vir virtually infinite how far you can go. And, uh, and so I'm doing pretty well here. Uh, but So I got 25 seconds left. Um, so yeah, so once if I run out of time, which I will do right now. Oh, let's, let's try the, the speed up our route. All right, so now this one boosted the speed and kind of gets out of control. Oh, you're yeah, making on time. So now it just goes back to, this is the first constellation that I made, I guess. I think it was my second constellation that was a little bit better. So when you get good at this game and you start going far in space, it's this part, this game over screen, is pretty impressive because it goes over the whole, uh, the whole extent of where you've been traveling, and you can mm. see like how big that can be. So there's really a, a cool feeling of like traveling in like infinite space. <laughs> 